In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I can get Music Reader 4 downloaded and installed from start to finish on a Mac OS X computer. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off by using my Safari browser. And I'm going to go to the AirTurn website. AirTurn.com and then you're going to see a subheading over here, Music Reader. Go ahead and click on that subheading. And then I'm going to scroll down until I see these icons over here. Three versions. Actually, there are two main downloadable versions. This one is a link to just take you to the iTunes App Store link. But I'm going to go ahead and download Music Reader for the Mac by clicking on this icon over here. And as you can see, once I click on that, you should see this little window pop up and you can see musicreader.dmg being downloaded. It's about 100 megabytes in size as of uh, the time of this video tutorial. It's going to take, with my, video, with my internet connection, it should take about three minutes. But you can see that this download window pops up. Go ahead and leave it alone. And I'll come back as soon as the download has finished. Okay, the download has completed. Let me just minimize this window to show you what it looks like. Here's the download, and as you can see, Music Reader 4.0 MPKG. This is a download package. What should happen is that this installer should this install installation window should automatically pop up. If it doesn't, double click on this icon over here in the downloads window, and then you should see the Music 4 installer window pop open. Let's go ahead and continue by pressing this button over here. This is the end user license agreement. If you agree with everything, go ahead and continue. To continue installing the license, we must agree to the terms of the software license agreement. Go ahead and press agree. And you can go ahead and just, this is going to tell you where you want to install the program. This default location is just fine. Let's go ahead and click on continue. And go ahead and click on this install. In just a few moments, I have to enter, in my particular computer, I have to enter my um, administrating administrative password to continue the installation. So give me a few seconds. I'm going to go ahead and enter that and I'll, I'll be right back. As you can see, I've entered my password and now the installation is, writing, is um, installing the files. It'll automatically go to Music Reader's website to show you its knowledge base and documentation for the program. You can go ahead and minimize that. You can always look at that later. And hopefully if everything goes well, the installation will be, the installation will be successful. Okay, so that's the first part. Let's go ahead and close these windows. You can go ahead and close this as well. You're going to find the program over here within your Applications folder. Scroll down until you see Music Reader, or mu actually Music Reader 4. You may not see the icon right away. You may actually only see some a folder like this. This is actually an older version of Music Reader. So you want to look for either a folder or the icon over here. Okay, and it may look like Music Reader but with a kind of a crossed out icon. You go ahead, go ahead and, and click, tap on that, uh, either the full icon or the crossed out icon, and it'll, sh it'll start opening up the program for you. It may ask you uh, as a warning, are you sure you want to open up a program that you've downloaded for the internet? Just go ahead and say yes, and that should be fine. Now there's one more step we need to t take care of, and that's, uh, I already have the license installed in my version, but let me show you how to do that, okay? Go ahead and minimize this for just a second. Let's go back to Safari. What I was doing uh, was I was making sure that, um, here we go. Here's a version of uh, music of, of Safari that I had and I opened up a tab where I went into my email account and I located the email that was sent to me that uh, shows me my license code. The license code is actually an attachment. As you can see down here, license.lic. What I want to do is I want to download this file. Now every email um, program will be different, but I want to go ahead and tap, click on this. This is Gmail. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And that'll automatically, again, within the um, Mac OS X, usually your downloads are set to go into the downloads folder. Uh, for Windows machines, again, it does something similar. It'll go into your downloads folder. So that's the first place we're going to look for these files. Okay, so that tells me that this is downloaded. I can go ahead and X this out if I want. All right, let's go ahead and minimize this. And let's go ahead and minimize this. And let's go back into Music Reader. Go back to our Music Reader 4 doc. What I want to do now is click on More. All right, 
this along this top menu bar. And now I'm going to click on this little icon that looks like a wrench, which says Settings. Okay, And then you're going to see a whole bunch of tabs within this window. We want to go into the License tab. All right, And to install your license, go ahead and click on this little box, Install License. And then you're going to be taken, given an opportunity to search for your license. Now I know that my license is somewhere in my downloaded folder. So let's go ahead and I'm going to see if I can go ahead and locate this. Scroll down until I find license. Okay, and now what I, I know obviously that I've had several versions of this license installed. So I'm going to go ahead and try to locate the most recent one over here. Let's see, I think it's this one over here. Go ahead and open that. And you can see that your license has been installed. Please restart Music Reader. So let's go ahead and cl click OK. And what I want to do is I want to actually close the program. Okay. Go ahead and close this over here. Excuse me, excuse me. Go ahead. <laughs> Still getting familiar with the Mac systems, like the way of doing things. So Music Reader PDF 4, I tap on this, head over here, quit Music Reader PDF 4, click on that. Let's go ahead and reopen it. By the time you reopen it, the license will be fully installed onto your computer. Onto actually this version of Music Reader, and you should be good to go. Alright? And that's that's a quick look at installing Music Reader from start to finish, from downloading from the AirTurn website and downloading the license file uh, and installing that into the Music Reader program.